Welcome to viewers on BBC One. We have had news from Buckingham Palace that the Queen is under medical supervision at Balmoral. The doctors had become concerned for her health. The BBC is interrupting its normal programmes to bring you an important announcement. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. Eccolo qua, Buckingham Palace, vediamo se non sbaglio la bandiera, eccola qui, a mezz'asta, è morta la regina Elisabetta II. The king has, the queen has passed away. The queen died peacefully. The royal family says at Balmoral this afternoon. It's une page de l'histoire du Royaume-Uni, du Commonwealth et du monde qui se tourne ce soir. La reine Elizabeth II est morte à l'âge de 96 ans, dont 70 ans de règne. Königin Elizabeth II is tot. Das teilte der Buckingham Palace in London mit. April the 21st, 1926, joy bells rang throughout the empire. The Royal Union was blessed. Princess Elizabeth was born.
occasionally there were glimpses of them on the balcony of Buckingham Palace or at the great occasions of state, but it was the determination of the king and queen that their daughters should enjoy their childhood in tranquility. The king was untiring in his efforts to lend encouragement throughout the long years of struggle. Meanwhile, the princesses were growing up, as this delightful wartime record shows. At an MT training center, Princess Elizabeth, now a second subaltern in the ATS, has been on a three weeks course of instruction. Today is victory in Europe day. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. Oh, rest in peace for him, Lizzie. <laughs>